Icon SBCs are coming to FIFA 21 sooner than you think. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. How is it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I've got for you is a video discussing the Icon SBCs we're getting in FIFA 21 in the next couple of weeks. Now, you did hear that correctly in the next couple of weeks, and I have got the pitch notes EA dropped right before the start of the game to discuss when we're getting the brand new Icon SBCs as well as a few little bits of information here and there that might be useful too. Now, within the pitch notes, they had a full subsection category for icons. And as we can see here, they posted about icon SBCs. Now, they said, we're excited to confirm that icon SBCs are back. You once again have the opportunity to earn specific icons by completing select SBCs. We know this is something players have wanted to return, and this is how they will function in FIFA 21. The first icon SBCs will be introduced from late November onwards. And we're coming up to late November. Um, icon SBCs will uh, be available long term, but not permanently. Uh, specific versions of icons will only become eligible for SBC release once they've been released in packs for a period of time. And after an icon SBC expires, it may be re-released at a later date. The challenge requirements uh, and rewards may also be updated. Icon may be used uh, as requirements in SBC. Sorry, icons may be used for requirements in SBC. Sometimes reading is not my forte. Uh, which is weird because I do a lot of it. Um, anyway, this essentially means that we are getting Icon SBCs towards the end of, no uh, of November. And guess what else is the end of November? Black Friday. So, a lot of us have been thinking that we are getting Icon SBCs for the Black Friday promo. Now, in Black Friday, usually what we get is a promo that has a lot of packs a lot of lightning rounds, a lot of SBCs, and EA dropped something big, whether it be the best of team of the week um, or just some big cards. And I think Icon SBCs may be the perfect time uh, to be released around Black Friday. And that's actually in probably a week on Friday. We're on the 18th of November right now. Um, so this Friday will be the 20th of November. And Black Friday will probably be on the 27th of November for FIFA. So I imagine next Friday, EA will start dropping Icon SBCs as well as uh, pretty much a ton of different content, in including packs, SBCs, and more. Now, I've been looking around for a video to kind of show you guys what Icon SBCs looked like back when we had them in FIFA 19. And I found one from Run the Foot Market's second channel, Run the Foot Market 2, if you guys want to go check it out. Um, but this video was published over a year ago uh, now, almost two years ago now. Um, and this just kind of goes through a bunch of different Icon SBCs and shows you, for example, requirements and packs that you can get and things like that. Now, we got a whole host of different Icon SBCs back in FIFA 19. Um, and we ended up with almost every single Prime Icon SBC. And I think it's going to be different this year. I think this year we're going to see mid icon SBCs, prime icon SBCs, prime icon moment SBCs spread out throughout the entire year. And we might even see some base icon SBCs. And the reason why I say that, because if we go back to the pitch notes, um, it says that you're once again have the opportunity to earn specific icons by completing SBCs. And then they said specific versions of icons will only become eligible for SBC release after they've been released in packs for a period of time. Now, my thought process going into that is if they're coming in late November and we don't get prime icons until December, I'm thinking possibly mid and baby icon SBCs are the only ones we're going to get until maybe January. Now, that would make a lot of sense and actually, in my opinion, be quite cool because it would set the power curve at a low level and slowly rise up. And what I mean by that is last year, sorry, in FIFA 19, um, by sort of January, February, a lot of people managed to grind out a ton of icons, which wasn't a bad thing in my opinion. And it was better than icon swaps. Although I think this year we're getting icon SBCs and icon swaps. Um, I, I do think that, you know, we can maybe have, for example, a someone like a, a baby or a middle push cast in November. That's quite expensive, but it's something we wouldn't see if it was only prime SBCs until, I don't know, May, June. Uh, as in FIFA 19, we didn't see the top tier icons until very late in the game. We didn't get the Hullets or Ronaldo's, people like that. But I think it allows EA to release some of the top tier icons now uh, or in late November um, without having to worry about, oh, this card's too ahead of the power curve, for example, uh, which I'm a big fan of. I think it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I think that uh, EA will drop a bunch of brand new uh, icon SBCs very shortly. Now, there are a couple of uh, lower tier icons, uh, it, versions, should I say, not lower tier, sorry, lower 
lower rating icon, should I say, that are position changes to their prime and middle cards. For example, Blanc is a great example because this card is a cam as opposed to a center back. And it's actually more expensive than his mid card. And I can see someone like Blanc getting an icon SBC because it makes sense for EA to release an SBC for a card like this, given the fact that it is a position change to his uh, middle and his prime. And once this card's out of packs, it will rise quite a lot. It will be quite desirable still because he is still... Up until I would say team of the year and a little bit onwards, one of the better midfielders in the entire game and one of the one of the most desirable midfielders in the entire game because he's actually really good. Pros rave about him. He's got great in-game stats and things like that. So this is the kind of thing I can see. I think Pires uh, is also uh, someone that has a position change baby card from a left mid to a cam. Uh, although the card isn't as great, it could be a lower tier uh, SBC that we get released. Uh, I think Figo is the same. Uh, has a cam base card, but a right wing uh, uh, prime and middle card. Uh, which we could also see being released into the game something that I can see happening So these are kind of cards that I can see if we get base icon SBCs getting a, you know The likes of a base Figo or a, a base Blanc and then maybe if we're getting mid icon SBCs uh, EA want to keep that kind of theme, you know The position changes we get like a, a mid icon SIE who's a CDM as opposed to a center back for each other two cards That is something I can see happening. Um, you know, we have the likes of uh, base Ambrotta um, I think it's middle Zanetti the same them being left backs as opposed to right backs uh, something I find very interesting uh, and obviously EA have uh, made S SBCs and uh, made promos this year based on position changes. It might be something they focus on because I think it'll add a little bit more desire to certain SBCs. For example, if EA released a mid Blanc, I wouldn't want to do it as much as say a base Blanc because that base Blanc is a midfielder. Whereas, you know, if you if you don't need a centre back, you know, you've got Varane and, and Van Dijk, for example, you don't really need a mid Blanc. But if you need a midfield like a CDM, um, uh, that base Blanc becomes available and you can grind towards it. That seems a bit more desirable so i think there's a lot of thought to go into it but i think there's a, a lot of potential for ea here to to kind of smash icon sbcs and i'm actually looking forward to it something ea did as well was release 20 game loans of certain icons i don't know if ea will do this this year whether they'll release the 20 game loans or just release the icon sbcs i kind of hope they release the 20 game loans um it gave people a a 20 game card to kind of have a go with and try out because in my opinion committing to an icon SBC is a large commitment it, it it's a lot of coins a lot of untradeable players it's a large commitment and you really can't go back once you start completing it and if you don't like the card once you've done it what a waste of coins that was so in my opinion it's actually not a bad thing to release a 20 game loan because you get to complete that and give that card a, a proper feel a proper go before you go ahead and complete the SBC and especially if it's one of the top tier ones for example say EA release a baby or a mid Torres for example you'd want to complete that 20 game loan fires to try out that card if you've ever tried Torres because it might not be that great. Now EA also talked about swaps in the same pitch notes and they said that swaps will begin during December. Now I'm thinking as we get the next gen console uh, version of the game on the 4th of December that's when EA might start releasing icon swaps as a kind of um, I don't know a kind of hey the next gen version of the game's out here's icon swaps you know like like a, a launch party kind of thing i think um is what i'm kind of expecting um and given the fact that ea said that icons may be used to his requirements for icon sbcs I can see them going pretty hand in hand with the first set of icon SBCs because obviously people are going to want to get icons for free if they can to put into the icon SBCs because an icon is quite expensive. Um, and given the fact that over the last couple of years, EA have experimented a lot with, for example, untradeable rewards, I am fully expecting icon SBCs to have untradeable 100k packs, untradeable 35k packs, 50k, untradeable rewards in general, really, um, because EA have experimented so much with it that. It just, it, it would seem logical from their standpoint to give untradeable rewards back. And obviously in previous years, um, in FIFA 19, for example, every icon SBC had a, a requirement if it required an icon where you had to put one icon in and you got a 100k pack back. And that kind of didn't provide value, but almost provided value for the people that are, that love packs and, 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 you know, wanted to get something back from packs. So, for example, they would throw in an icon that they had on tradable. Say you did a Roy Keane back in January and then uh, Hullet came out in March. Uh, you threw Roy Keane into that uh, one icon requirement to get the 100k pack in the hopes you'd get yourself um, something decent, the 100k pack to help you complete Hullet. I don't think EA do that this year because if we're getting free icons from icon swaps, it wouldn't make sense that you can go grind a free icon to get a tradable 100k pack for free from an icon SBC. So I imagine it will be untradable. But I honestly don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I just like I'm at the point now where untradable rewards for someone like myself that is a filthy pay to win spender. 
doesn't bother me that much. But I, I totally understand it takes away a lot of the grind. And I'm not a big fan for the people that grind uh, on behalf of them. Because it's just not fair in my opinion. But... Uh, at this point, what can you do? Now, something else that is exciting is that we are getting David Beckham on the 4th of December. Uh, EA just announced that he is returning to the game. And also, if you play FIFA uh, between uh, December 15th and January 15th, so for that one month, all you have to do is play FIFA. You get yourself a free David Beckham card. Now, it's not the icon. It is this Real Madrid David Beckham card here is the free card that you get. You don't get a free icon David Beckham. This will act as a Real Madrid English player. So it will get a strong link, for example, to Trippi or it will get a strong link to Benzema. It will get a red link to Sergioria, for example. I don't know, I could think of anyone else. So um, you will get a free version of this red sort of David Beckham card if you play between December 15th and January 15th, which I think is really, really cool. You can get him both uh, in, in foot and you can get him in Volta as a groundbreaker card, which I think is really, really cool. And for those wondering uh, if that card design is just a, a Volta card design, um, it isn't. Uh, Volta don't have these kind of card designs. This is what groundbreakers look like in Volta, uh, which are the icons in Volta. So it's not a Volta card design. It's the one that's going in FIFA, like this, the, the red card that we saw, the David Beckham red card, that's what's going into Ultimate Team, not Volta. So essentially, that's the card we're going to get in Ultimate Team. Unfortunately, we're not getting an Icon one. Although, I do like the picture of the Icon ones, and I think we have seen the stats for them as well. Apologies if it's a bit blurry, but these are the supposed stats for the David Beckham cards. Two of them are right mid, and one is a center mid. The base, uh, the middle, and the prime from right to left. Uh, unfortunately, the cards don't exactly look meta but i am not complaining at all i actually am excited to see bex in the game and i hope ea bring more icons into the game meta or not i don't think it matters that he hasn't got 90 pace i don't think it matters he doesn't have four star because apparently he's three star three star i just think that these cards will be fun to use anyway i think it adds a little bit more fun to the game to have a player like beckham for example in the midfield um it adds a bit more of a, a dynamic to fifa you know being able to use a, a beckham gerard or a beckham skulls midfield would be incredible um as an england uh per, like an english person or an english fan um i just think that it's really cool uh and i don't think that we should really worry too much about the the metaness of this card to be honest i think it's still a really cool card but that is gonna be it for the video i'm looking forward to black friday and icon SBCs. and i hope you guys are too thank you all for watching and i'll see you later